Hello everyone and welcome to the Maven Dojo. Today I wanted to go over the best designed fighting game characters in recent years. I'll be mainly talking about the characters visually and how they execute their premise. I might still mention something interesting about their gameplay but visuals take priority. I'll be picking one character per year. And obviously this is my personal opinion, so if your favorite character is not on the list, leave them in the comments below as I might do a follow up video. So let's travel back all the way to early 2017, the year Tekken 7 got released and I became part of the FGC. Even though I love Tekken 7, the standout character for that year to me was Manat from Street Fighter V. Released on August 29, 2017, Manat is a young Egyptian fortune teller and a disciple of Rose. Like most fighting game characters, she pretty much wears her heart in her sleeve. Her clothes clearly follow the Asian Egyptian design, and as a fortune teller, she literally carries around a crystal ball. Besides that, she also brings the cat motif in some of her animations, as Asian Egyptians revered cats. From a gameplay standpoint, she also brought something that Street Fighter V really needed at that time in regards to execution and player expression, especially with her V-Trigger 1. Armor King. Released on December 3rd, 2018, Armor King's design is a huge upgrade from his looks from Tekken 6 and Tekken Tag 2. With his silver, red and black color scheme, he clearly contrasts against the regular King's bright colors, giving him a more menacing look. Even though he has been considered mid to low tier throughout the lifespan of Tekken 7, Armor King is still at the top of the charts in being the most popular DLC character still more popular than Leroy, Fakim Ram and Lydia, which were notorious for being overpowered on release. Leroy Smith With the popularity of the Ip Man movies, people definitely have been asking Havraga for a Wing Chun user in Tekken for a while, and we got our wish on December 10, 2019. Leroy's design isn't just good looking, but also subverts expectations on what a Wing Chun master would look like. The pimp cane, dog, everything just works. The drip levels are so high that he got his own music video. Even people outside of the FGC resonated with his design as the rapper T-Pain even cosplayed as him shortly after the reveal. Charlotta. Alright, alright, hear me out. Regardless if you find her cool or not, she executes her archetype really really well. We definitely have seen examples of other smaller fighters, but they usually cause problems when attacks go over their heads because of their smaller hitboxes. But in her case, that's not a problem as her crown actually counts as a hitbox. Besides, if you look at her gameplay, she is clearly designed to be an annoying character to fight against. So what does she have? Of course she gets a blank ball, her DP goes up and down which makes it awkward to punish, and she also has a demon flip for good measure. Nagori Yuki. Released with the launch of Guilty Gear's Strive, Nagori Yuki became an instant favorite on the FGC. Both during the Vegas and launch day, I remember the lobbies being filled with the Nago army. And that's no surprise. Nagori Yuki is not only a black samurai similar to the legend of Yasuke, but also a vampire. He also subverts expectations as most big characters tend to be grapplers or use armor moves, but Nago can be actually very fast or slippery, of course with the cost of his blood gauge. Having a cost associated with his most powerful moves on top of the game system mechanics makes him extremely rewarding to master. Black representation on enemy fighters is definitely rare, so I do have to commend Arxis for not only making one of the coolest black characters, but also one of the most badass designs, period. Released on March 28, 2022, here comes Testament. Arxis did it again, the visual speaks for itself. What an upgrade from their time in plus R. The ambiguity of their design is key as their gender is irrelevant to their transformation into a gear, so officially the first non-binary character in the series. 
Another thing that I love about this character is is that if you go to their stats and see what their what their likes are, they just have a bunch of hobbies that just shows that great appreciation for life in general. Just overall good vibes coming from a character that looks like the Green Reaper. So, you think I'm done? Nah. I'm already calling out the best design for 2023, and it's gotta be Kimberly from SF6. All new characters from Street Fighter VI are looking great as they are multifaceted. Kimberly isn't just another ninja. She's a ninja student, a track runner, basically a weeb and adores 80s music. And most of those details show up in her visual design and animations. So, who are your picks for the best design character in recent years? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to support the Maven Dojo. I'll see you guys in my next video.